Hey, what's up guys? My name is EQZ and welcome back to another episode of our Vipers FC Creator Club career mode. We are back with another episode, season three, of course, episode, I think it's six or seven already. We're already pretty much halfway there, I, I would assume. Let's see, we're in, uh, we're in December already, so we're almost through to January and we got a big, big month of December. We're going to play all three games today, Valencia. Then we have Barcelona away from home and then uh, Real Betis at home. So it's going to be a very, very big episode for us to see if we can try to continue this form because currently right now look at that vipers fc are in first place and it's going to be you know a journey here just really trying to keep up with these teams and trying to stay in first place honestly uh we can't drop many points from here on out and right now we have the best record in the league we got 10 wins three draws and two losses which is amazing last season we were it was our first season in la liga and obviously you guys know in the first season of vipers fc we were in the second division but to go from second division to the first place spot within three seasons is pretty remarkable honestly and we know our team we just built it from the ground up and it's just hard work we build a culture here so that's really what we've been going for you know it's not really that we have a we spent a lot of money because you know we really didn't uh we spent a lot of money on, on loans perhaps maybe but other than that, it's just all been our youth academy. And we're trying to build something kind of like Barcelona, La Masia, you know, trying to build an academy where all the youth players, they get an opportunity to rise up the ranks and be a part of the first team squad because that's really what we built this team on. And our first game today against Valencia. And let's see if we can try to win this game. Valencia, obviously a very good team usually. So it's going to be a tough game no matter what. So let's see if we can try to win against Valencia and see if we can get another three points to keep our title hopes running. Let's go, boys. At the Estadio de Vipers. And it's a little rainy day. A lot of our home games have been rainy. We live in we live, we live in Villarreal, so I guess it gets rainy over there. But let's get it, boys. Come on. Let's see if we can try to get a win here against a formidable opponent. Let's go. Balogun gets it. Can he find the right pass? It's Talias to Araujo. He's going to shoot it. Oh, gets blocked by the defender. And already we're almost having some chances here. Let's go, Ilias gonna shoot it oh saved by the keeper and here we are already on there we're about to get a chance oh my god man and valencia scores within 11 minutes gets the first goal of the game and we got some catching up to do already boys come on it just got i don't know we were just both open in the box there i don't know what costa was doing there yeah unfortunate all right we're one no down but we still got plenty of time come on oh no Nice, Calvini. No, boys! Oh my god. We're 2-0 down. What is happening, man? The second of the game. And just like that, it opened us up. I don't even know how, like, uh, yeah, Costa, man. Costa has kind of been shaky today. All right, we still have time, but we got to get a goal right here before halftime, in my opinion, to, uh, to have a chance to still win this game. Oh, no. No! Oh my god, saved by Turner, man. What is happening with us? Our defense is getting pulled through, but look at that. Balogun, he's through. Can he get it one back? Dang. Oh my god, saved by the keeper, man. Important save for them. That should have been a goal from us. And Balogun missed the mark to Garnacho. To Mikkelsen. Oh, Mikkelsen, what are you doing? Balogun! Oh my god, saved from the keeper once again. This keeper's playing out of his mind. Garnacho. Mikkelsen! Balogun. Oh, this just keeps getting blocked. Nothing is going on target, man, because it's either getting blocked by the by the defenders or the keeper is just saving him. And look, they're on a the counter here, and it's not looking good for us right now. And Araujo concedes a foul, man. Come on, lads. But I think he can consider himself suitably warned. Away. Oh, my God. Turner had to make a little bit of a save there. We have three minutes to halftime. We're probably not going to be able to score here. Um, and then maybe they might get another one back. And they do. And we're 3-0 down, man, against Valencia. Maybe it's a wake-up call, you know? Our ambitions of winning may just be a little bit too big here. Somehow he gets the header. And look at that. That's airtight right there. Hits the post and it goes in. And not much we can do there. So 3-0. Going to go into the halftime. And we have a big, big half to second half to play here. Don't do it to me. Oh, my God, man. I, uh, all right, we're three 0 down at halftime, and Valencia are playing lights out against us, man. And it's not looking good so far, but 
we have a chance to potentially tie it. I mean, if they score three goals and a half, there's no no doubt that we can score three goals in a half. So uh, looking at some substitutes here. Not really anyone I'm looking to forward to getting on. Maybe Mikusin might come off. He hasn't really done much. But neither has Elias and Garnacho, to be honest. So I'm going to give these boys a chance still to try to do something in the second half. Big, big second half here. Try to salvage a point at least. Um, but let's see if we can try to get a goal here first. All right, I'm going to make subs. I'm just not really liking what I'm seeing, man. We're going to get Guzman on for Mikkelsen. You know, Dieko will put him on the right for Ilias. And those are the two subs we're going to make right now. I'm just not really liking Mikkelsen. It's just not really... Like, like I said, again, we're missing that, that creative presence that we have, that we're supposed to have in the attacking midfield. And he's just not doing it for me right now. So, going to have to take him off. Guzman! Oh, my God. Off the defender. And it's going to be a corner, but... That could have been a goal as well. Yeah, it's just not happening for us today, lads. Oh, uh, no. It's going to be a fourth. Oh, my God. Saved by Turner. And, yeah, we're not going to we're not gonna be able to tie this game at all either. We just... The uh, the chances are just not going in. We're not getting any chances whatsoever. And we're just not not really attacking well. Uh, maybe Garnacho can get a goal here, but it's not probably won't be enough. Let's see if he even scores. Come on, Garnacho. Bang. All right, come on. We get a goal. 15 minutes left to get two more goals, but it's looking unlikely by the way we're playing right now. But you know, it's a little wake-up call. We've been on a good run. There had to been a there had to been a game where we did bad. It's just natural. It comes and goes. So it's gonna it has to be it's gonna be that game today. Go. We have space. He has Balogun. He makes a run. Balogun, come on. Can we do it? They're giving me hope now. We have 10 minutes left. And just like that, we got two goals so quickly. Guzman, look at that, that attacking, that creativity, that passing I need. But can we get another goal to tie it up and salvage a point at least? Let's see, we got we to gotta win the ball here quickly and get possession as quick as we can. We have five minutes, we have five minutes, five minutes. And there's two minutes left and it's not looking likely. We got a winner here, but it's not really, uh, they're just going to keep possession. And yeah, that's going to be it. Final whistle. Three to two it ends. We've dropped three points, but it could have been done. If we would have scored earlier, we could have had a chance. I mean, we scored two goals within like four minutes. It just was not enough. And unfortunately, we dropped three points. But you know what? It's fine. We've been on a good run. So uh, I really don't mind that at all. I don't mind dropping three points while we're still ahead. We have we're, we were a couple points ahead of Barcelona. Um, the Barcelona game is one that we need to get a good result because they're right behind us. So we need to get a good result. Uh, Garnacho Balagum, both of the goals. Guzman with two assists off the bench. He did pretty good. And yeah, Mikkelsen, I just sometimes... Um, I, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, when like we need like a Ozil, like a, uh, like a De Bruyne. You know, that kind of number 10 that can just distribute the ball, make plays. You know, Mikkelsen more... He can make plays, but it just depends on his day. He's not really much. He's not the creativity midfielder that we really want, but he does. A, he does a good job still. So take a look at the standings, guys. As it stands, we're one point ahead of Atletico Madrid and Barcelona, who are only at 32 points, but they're right behind us. And we have Barcelona right now to play. So we need a big, big game from the lads. They need to, they need to come up with something big here. I have faith. We did. Uh, we beat Real Madrid, I believe, last time out. So. You know, Barcelona might be in better form right now, but I believe we can still get a result. If we can get a tie, at least, that could potentially help us, but we need Atletico Madrid to drop points as well. So, ideally, a win is the best situation we need right here. So, let's get it, boys. Come on. All right, come on, boys. We're here at the uh, the fake Camp new because they don't have uh, the Camp new in the game, but we're in the fake Camp new here, but let's see if we can try to get a win here. Let's go, Balogun. He's got some space. Does he have the pace? He turns. Nicholson. Oh my god. Straight at the keeper though. We got our first chance. And it's looking decent so far. Come on lads. Don't concede anything. No. Good save Turner. Let's go. Send Mickelson. Nice. Mickelson. Can he beat his man? He's going to shoot it. Oh. It's safe from the keeper. He had to shoot it because he was getting broken down quickly by the defender. Nice, Calvini. Oh, uh, nice, nice, Araujo. Come on, what did they say? What have they been saying? Don't let it get to you, son. No. Nah. Damn, man. Our defense is sloppy today. 
I don't know what I'm doing, but I just don't like how they always, like I always say, they always some somehow are able to dribble in the box so fluidly. But when I try to do it, it's just I get it taken away so quickly. It's really frustrating. But we're one 0 down against Barcelona, and once again we got we got to try to get a good result here. Now what? Let's go, Garnacho. He's free. Mikusin. Mikusin. There we go. Come on. We get a goal right back. And we're all squared up now. 1 1. And a little bit of luck there. I'm not going to lie. It gets blocked. And it ricochets right back to him. And he just shoots it on one time. And we're all tied up now against Barcelona. So it's all even now. So we have a chance to win this game still. That's, let's go. Elias wins it. Mikusin. Send Balogun. Balogun. Bang. Come on. 2-1 against Barcelona. And there we are, boys. In the lead now against Barcelona. What a good little counter-attack there after winning the ball. And Mikkelsen, like I said, he has his off days and he has his on days. Today seems to be like he's more creative and he's wanting to pass a little bit better. He sends Balogun on the run and he gets a assist for him. And Balogun, who's obviously been on fire, gets another goal. And now we are 2-1 up against Barcelona. Oh, no. No! What is that, man? They just score like that? I mean, there's not much I can do there. He just shoots it. And Turner sh probably should be doing better than that, but... He just somehow, uh, yeah, strikes it with power, and yeah. I mean, alright, we're all side up again, once again. And it's been an eventful first half for us. Let's go, Granacho. Beats one man. Let's go, Garnacho. You have pace. Take it all the way by yourself, son. Bang. Oh, my God. Ter Stegen came out and saved it. There it is. Half time. All squared up at the half. 2-2. Two, two. We had the lead. They had the lead, and then we took it. So, it's going to be a very interesting second half, to say the least. Um, right now, everyone's doing pretty well, I'd say. Um, I mean, I don't really want to risk getting on anyone at this moment. I think we have a good good chance of getting another goal soon. So, let's get straight into the second half here. And let's try to see if we can win this game, man. We have to We have to win this game. Let's go, Milkosin. The Balagoon. Balagoon. Come on. There we go. It's the second of the game. And to put us back in the lead against Barcelona in the 56th minute. And what a goal. Mikkelsen, I'm telling you. He's had, it, gonna, he had an off game last game. I think. I mean, I think the whole team did. But he's having a good game today. Being that distributor that I wanted to. Getting those through balls and those key passes here. Look at this. Just draws the defender. And Balagoon turns and shoots with his weak foot. And now we are 3-2 up against Barcelona. No way! Oh my god. Tammy Abraham, who's been on fire this game, almost got another goal there. Let's go. Send him. Nice. To Mikkelsen. Granacho! Bang! Come on! Let's go! Two goals up against Barcelona. And what a nice little counter-attack play there. From the goal all the way to their goal to get a goal for Garnacho, who has been pretty decent this game in dribbling. You know, he's just our main dribbler attacking the defense. But look at that. Cueva started it with Balagun and Mikusin. Of course, Mikusin, like I said, once again gets, I think that's a hat trick of assist. I could be wrong, but that is another assist for Mikusin. And we are 4 2 up against Barcelona. A little bit of a cushion here now. No way. Oh my God. Matt Turner has to. I mean, should have been way, way easier save, but all right. Gets a save there. Oh, nice save, Turner. Let's go, Granacho. Oh, no. No. Come on, lads. I'm tired of these passes not going through. And Ansu Fati, right off the bench as well. They just brought him on. Scores a goal. And I don't know what Scalvini was doing. Costa should have been higher up, honestly, maybe. And we're only one goal ahead now. We got to try to get another one here. Or try to hold it, at least. Let's go, Ilias. Beats his man. Ilias. Granacho! Oh, my God. No way, man. That would have put the game to bed. Damn. All right, come on, boys. Let's not lose this, please. If we get a draw, I would be so disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. Nice, Araujo. Let's go. Send Balogun. Come on. To put the game up to bed. Bang. There it is. Come on. And that's the winner. Balogun gets his hat trick. 
to end the game and the lads are so happy we get the winner for the game with about three minutes left i think what it is and let's take a look again oh okay it's not gonna show me the replay there it is balugu gets a hat trick and i think that's another mickelson assist if i if i'm not mistaken and there has been eight goals in this game very entertaining game if you're a neutral but if you're a vipers fc fan you're buzzing right now and they could get one back here but it won't matter and, and oh my god just hit the crossbar and there it is we get three points against barcelona what a result from us balagoon with another hat trick to his name and look at that three attempts three goals he's always just there in the right right place right spot and let's see mickelson has to get him out of the match right he only got an 8.0 huh balagoon gets him out of the match three goals the hat trick got him that three goals got him the hat trick Mikkelsen got four assists. Look at that. He got four assists and one goal to his name. And then Garnacho got a goal and an assist as well. So that's pretty good. Overall, the team did very well. Our defense did pretty decent. We conceded three goals, but I mean, it's against Barcelona. And I'm happy that we were able to score five against them because they were the best defensive uh, record uh, team in La Liga. So that really helped us. But look at that. That makes us a little bit better. So we have Barcelona give us a little gap there. Four points. But now we just need Atletico to drop points to have a bit of a gap there. And I think we go against them soon. Uh, yeah, next month in January. So that's going to be a very interesting game. Alrighty, guys. Getting into our final game of the episode against Real Betis. It's going to be a tough game nonetheless once uh, once again. Um, like they still have Fakir. They got Cavalejo. Rodriguez, Felix, Silva, they got a good team. So it's going to be a tough game. But after that Barcelona win, we should be on a little bit of a high note. So I'm hoping the boys are still focused and are ready to win another game. Let's get it. Let's go, lads. Come on. We're at home today. A little bit icy on the field, but that's all right. Scott Ajo getting chased down. And try to get Balagoon. And he does get it somehow. Balagoon, bang. Oh, my gosh. It's saved. And just like that, five minutes, we had a very, very good opportunity to score. But unfortunately, we could not convert. No. What? How does he score that, man? Oh, lads. And they're emoting on us. They got a little bit of a... They, they, they for sure rehearsed that, but I don't even know how he squeezed that through. Look at this. I mean, I thought he was going to pass it, and he just somehow... Matt Turner should not be conceding that, honestly. And, I mean, it's a powerful shot, but still. All right, well, just like every other game today, we got conceded first, and we're 1-0 down. Let's go. Sans Mikkelsen. Alagun. Oh, my gosh, man. Everything is getting blocked again. Let's go. Garnacho. Down the wing. Well, what a great title race this looks like, Ben. Yes, there's a Bang! Let's go, Garnacho! Garnacho responds back and gets a goal to tie it up within 15 minutes. And what a just strike from him. I just I just decided to strike it, you know? A little bit of a finesse. He got lucky there. And just bang. And was able to get it through. Nice little under the ball so the keeper couldn't really see it. And was not expecting it as it went right under him. And we're now 1-1. One one. Oh! Oh, my God. Matt Turner saves it. And he was all alone to shoot that. Come on. No! Turner again with the save. I don't know. I can never stop those kind of uh, shots. To Mikkelsen. He's got some space. The Balagoon. Oh, my God. Balagoon misses it. And had a wide open shot, man. And kind of muffed it on the volley, but that should have been it. I could have been two one up. This has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, as you can see, he's forming front. Now, of no, on, Stuart, they're in here. In it goes. You're kidding me. You, you are that. kidding me. I tried clearing it, and he somehow blocks it, and oh my god. All right, we're 2 one down now. That's, I mean, I don't know if I blamed that myself for the game, but that is just ridiculous. Let's go to Balagoon. Come on, Balagoon. Oh my god. Keeper saves it. Let's go, Ilias. Balagoon. Oh no, the keeper. Straight at the keeper, no way. Yeah, that had to be a goal. 
And we could have tied it up before halftime, but we're going to go into the half down a goal. And there it is, halftime. It's still anyone's game. We're only down by one, but we got to get a goal here quick in the second half to have a chance to at least win the game still. In terms of some subs, Mickelson kind of having an off day once again. It's just he's not really consistent, you know? I'm going to keep the same subs and we might mix it up soon rather than later. But we're going to go ahead and go to the second half with the same lineup and see if we can try to get a win here. Let's go. Sends Balagoon. Balagoon. Oh, my God. Blocked. That would have been it. No. Come on, man. You see, like, I just don't get how they get these goals. And we're 3-1 down now. And we're playing for a tie at this point. Just where's my defenders at? And but when I attack their when I attack their goal, it's just night and day for their defense, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's just on my end. Maybe I'm defending wrong, but uh, it's just frustrating. Come on. Nicholson. You see what I mean? Like oh my gosh. Their defense just stays compact like that. And I don't know. I don't know where my players are at. And Mickelson might be injured here. Let's go. Sends Balagoon. Balagoon, come on. Make something happen here, lad. Bang. Dude, come on. Balagoon. Balagoon is having an off day. I'm going to have to sub Mikkelsen. He's injured. We'll get Guzman on. And at this point, I'm going to get Diekov on for Ilias. And Serrano. Nah, I'm going to keep Serrano off. We're going to keep it like that. And Balagoon should be scoring that. Maybe the number nine is getting to him. But look at that. He's at six shots, man. And he only has, I think, you know, he didn't score a goal. He doesn't have a goal yet. And it's just going all wrong for us once again, boys. And it's not looking good. We might drop points again if we don't get a, a, a goal here soon. And look at that. Just how lucky is that? Send Balagoon to Guzman. Bang. No way. The keeper is insane today. Probably going to lose this game. Not looking good right now. And we're going to drop another three points in this episode. This game was crucial indeed just because Atletico is still right behind us. And we had a gap against Barcelona. And now that gap is going to close once again. So we're definitely going to end in second place here after this. But it's just not what we want to see, huh? And look at this. They're going to score again somehow when I'm defending. Look, I'm defending. Oh my gosh. Let's just hope that Atletico played a team and they lost somehow or tied at least. A tie would be good, but look at that. They score another one right there. And that is the dagger. And who was covering him? I think it was Downs. Or no, it was Garnacho. Just didn't get in front of him. Well, it has been another thrashing against us. And it is unfortunate, boys. And our defense is wide open again. I don't know why what is happening, but there it is. A final whistle. 4-1. We lose another game today. So we dropped a total of six points. And just not really a good performance from the lads once again. I mean, it really is just dependent on, on if Mickelson is doing good or not. If you guys have noticed, you know, um, if he's orchestrating our midfield and our wingers too. I mean, Garnacho had a decent game. He got the goal. 8.5 rating but other than that everyone else i mean it says the defense had a good game but hey yeah they conceded a lot just not not a good look for us Cuevas and downs as well when they're controlling the midfield and winning every ball it's night and day but when they're not it's just not it's not it doesn't happen for us so it's another loss in the book so now we have four losses i believe yeah look at that and look at that we were hoping that atletico dropped points and i think they did because there's still one point behind us so let's check uh Let's check the fixtures here to see, just to confirm. Yeah, they lost. Oh, so they lost against Granada before, and then they won against Girona. So it kind of puts us level again. So we're still in first place, one point ahead of Atletico, but we have them next game. Uh, next game, actually, yeah. So it's gonna be an interesting one. We're gonna have to win that game for sure, or a tie would actually be the least. A tie would be acceptable, you know. Um, but all of January we have some pretty tough games. We have associated that again. We have Madrid again, and then we have Deportivo Alaves. So it's going to be a very intriguing month for sure. We'll see how uh, how I split the episodes for that because it's going to be a lot of games. And like I said, I, when we're in these title contending uh, situations, we want to try to play every game so that we have the best possible chance of winning those games. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought of the video. Leave a like if you did enjoy, of course. And remember to subscribe if you are new. Road to 500 subs. We're almost there, guys. Halfway there. So let's get to 500 subs in no time. And I'll see you guys in the next one.